I be an oracle of God, may this grace heal diabetes. May this grace break poverty. If I say blood, speak in my life. I am untouchable. When the enemy sees the blood, he shall pass over. He shall pass over. Father never crows. You will crow in the name of Jesus. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a living God. When God opens a door, no man can close. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. Somebody say yes. Deuteronomy 9.19 Deuteronomy 9.19 Follow me closely. God's anger is always kindled against Israel. Look at what happened. The Bible says inasema, that is Deuteronomy. Kumbu kumbu latorati, Follow me closely. Nisikize vizuri. Sheko tayada da 19 to 20. For I was afraid of the anger hasira, and the hot displeasure wherewith the Lord was wroth against you. That is Moses speaking to Aaron. To destroy you. But the Lord hearkened unto me at that also time. What happened? And the Lord was very angry with Aaron. To have destroyed him. And I prayed. And I prayed. I pray that God will not destroy Kenya. I say I have prayed that God will not destroy the church. Moses prayed for Aaron that he may not be destroyed. Prayer the power to revert and avert disasters. The power to avert. Read for that again from verse 19. Look at that. Aha. Verse 19. Danger was looming in the camp. Moses said, I was afraid. I was afraid. Of the anger and the hot displeasure. I fear that furious anger of the Lord. It has reached a point people don't fear the anger of God. We don't fear Corona. The anger of God. Which turned against you, Aaron? He turned against you, Aaron. Would drive him to destroy you. But again, he listened to me. May God listen to you when you cry. I say, may God listen to your prayer. That our nation will be preserved. That our nation may be preserved. Somebody say, I hear. You. I hear you. Go all the way to Matthew 28. No, Matthew 26. The power of being on your knees. Power of being on your knees. Go to verse number 33. 
Jesus is talking to the disciples before he goes to Gethsemane. Yes, wanaambia wanafunzi kabla ya kwenda Gethsemane. They are chatting just the normal chat. Wanazungumza mazungumzo ya kawaida. Peter said unto him. Petro akajibu akamwambia. So all men shall be offended because of you. Wajapo tukizwa wote kwa ajili yako. If all people are offended of you. Hata watu wote wakachukizwa na wewe. Yet will I never be offended. Mimi sitachukizwa kamwe. Uongo mtu just like Petro I can't wongo. be offended Anasema, mimi sita chukizwa. because of you Kwa yako. and this is one of the signs Na hini moja. of the later years ya miaka ya people shall be offended Watu and they will leave the faith na na imani. and during this conversation na wa haya mazungumzo, Peter said I can't be offended because Petro of you anasema, mimi sita I na am wewe. standing with you Nitasimama na wewe. Jesus said to him Peter Yes wakamwambia Petro Verily I said to you Amini nakuambia wewe This night Usiku huu Before a cock crows Kabla ya kuika jogo You will deny me three times Utanikana mara tatu Tough times are coming Nyakati ngumu zinakuja Peter tough times are coming Petro nyakati ngumu zinakuja Where people will ask you do you go to that church Mahali watu watakuuliza wewe ni wa hilo kanisa You say I don't know even the pastor Na utasema mimi sijui hata huyo mtu so you will deny me three times You will deny me Three times Before the cock cross Peter said to him Though I should die with you Ijapo ni pasa kufa nawe Yet will I not deny you Likewise also said Oh the disciples Na wanafunzi wote wakasema vivyo hivyo Hata mimi Hata mimi Hata mimi Hata mimi Hata mimi Hata mimi They all said we cannot Wote wakasema hawawezi No problem Ni sawa Let's go and pray Wacha tuende tukaombe Let's go to Gethsemane Tuende ni Gethsemane Then Jesus comes with them to a place called Gethsemane Kisha Yesu wakaenda pamoja na ombaka Gethsemane And he said to his disciples Aka wambia wanafunzi wake Sit here Ketini hapa Sit here Ketini hapa Not sleep here Sio kulala hapa Sit here Ketini hapa While I go pray Na mimi niende kule nikaombe He was a man of me Yesu alikuwa mtu wa magoti Sit here while I go Ketini hapa mimi niende nikaombe and pray Nikaombe Why Kwa nini I am seeing tough times ahead Naona nyakati ngumu mbele I see you Peter Na kuona wewe Petro Arrested I see you James beheaded Let me go and pray Because of the tough times ahead He told them stay here while I go yonder And as he went ahead He took Peter Akamchukua Petro and two sons of Zebedee. Na wale wana wawili wa Zebedee. Sons of Zebedee that is John and James. Wana wa Zebedee ni Yohana na Yakobo. So when you look at the pattern Jesus used. Ukiangalia njia ambayo Yesu alitumia. He had three of these disciples. Anachukua watatu hawa wanafunzi. Peter, James and John. Petro, Yakobo na Yohana. The same one he went with. Hawa ndio wale alienda nao. The mountain of transfiguration. Wakati alienda mlimani ya Peter, James and John. Petro, Yohana na Yakobo. They are the ones who knew more mysteries of the mystery. How and you will do a series I did a huduma. And that is why Herod was interested in the three of them. Nandi ya sababu Herod ya liwataka sana hawa watatu. James, Peter and John. Petro, Yakobo na Yohana. He wanted to execute all of them. Alitaka kuangamiza na kuawa. They were the pillars that carried the the mystery of the church they had all the minutes of their meetings <laughs> they knew what Jesus wanted and where so while the rest sat there he took the three of them ahead let's go a little bit further and when they came to another place Pastor T.A.T. said to them My soul 
is exceedingly sorrowful. There are times you will just be sorrowful. And if you are not prepared to handle sorrows, hey, we're talking to a certain pastor in the city here. When I saw a picture of one of his uh, sons who had died. He committed suicide. He committed suicide. He was found hanged. People are carrying sorrows. But we are not aware. Let's run to the place of prayer. Even believers are committing suicide. Believers are divorcing. Because of tough, tough times. Tough times. Jesus said, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful. Sorrowful even unto death. Carry ye here. Watch with me. Watch with me. Don't take things for granted. Peter, you may not know. What is coming ahead is only prayer that will sustain you when tough times come. Say, watch with me. Let, let me just go a little bit further. So it reaches a point where now prayer becomes personal. It's now personal. This pain is mine and mine alone. Peter is not there. Petro Hayuko. John is not there. Johanna Hayuko. Judas has already gone to betray me. You tayari amenda kunisaliti. It reaches a point. Inafika wakati. Even your closest. Hata marafiki wa karibu cannot share with you what you are feeling. Hawawezi kukusaidia vile unasikia. Even the three Meaning that even your own wife may not feel what you're feeling. I remember one of the darkest hours of my life. I almost uttered the words of quitting. I wrote a text to my wife at and I was shedding tears I just told her can you pray just pray for me Satan wanted me to utter the words of quitting and say why live dangerous it is the worst time when somebody who played the keyboard hangs himself when an usher decide I'm no longer a member here. when a leader decides whoever I find will marry me people have issues because the place of prayer is Send my wife text. I was in deep pain. I wonder what happened to me, Lord. What happened to me? I couldn't speak to her. I just, just pray. That is the level. And the people you are telling pray. They are asleep. They have eaten a lot of nyama choma. They can't pray. The only prayer they can make is prayer chewing what they let. 
Ni maombi wakitafuna kile kilibaki. Thank you Lord. I thank you Jesus. Don't wait until. Usingoje hadi. The doctor checks your temperature and fixes it. Daktari akikupima joto anatikisa kichwa. He shake their head. Anatikisha kichwa. The doctors check your x-ray. Daktari akiangalia x-ray yako. Anatikisa kichwa. Don't wait until that. Usingoje ifike hapo. Don't wait until that. Usingoje ifike hapo. A man that was just next to my bed. Mtu aliyekuwa amelala karibu na mimi. Can't feed himself. Hangeweza kukula. Can't turn himself. Hangeweza kujipindua. He's on oxygen. Amewekwa oxygen. Something you will get free. Kitu ambacho wewe unapumua bure. Hawezi inua hata mkono. Not a poor man. Na sio maskini. Nairobi hospital is not for the poor. Nairobi hospital sio ya watu maskini. Can't breathe. Anashindwa kupumua. Can't go to toilet. Hawezi jipeleka msalani. Can't feed himself. Hawezi jilisha. Nurses come. Madaktari wanakuja. Wake up, wake up. Wanamuamsha. Wake up, eat. Wanamwambia kula. Hawezi wanaondoa ile pumzi na say wewe uwezi toa hii mzee uwezi toa hii they return it wanairudisha he was almost dead karibu akate tamaa i used to pray for that niliishi kuombea huyo mzee i closed the gates of nafunga malango ya kifo his relatives can't see him watu wa familia hawezi mtembelea this is isolation ward ametengwa mahali his phone is ringing there simu yake inalia nobody can Hawezi kuichukua. So want to know what is happening. Wanataka kujua anaendeleaje. Nikawa ninamuombea. The next time I went for a check up. Wakati ninarudi mara ya pili kuangaliwa. The doctor said, you know your friend made next to your bed also was discharged yesterday. Akaniambia yule alikuwa amelala karibu na wewe alitoka hospitali jana. Thank you. Nikaambia Mungu asante. I may not know who he is. Huanda nisimjue. But in heaven. Lakini mbinguni. You should thank you you prayed for me. Atasema asante My day was not yet. Siku yangu hikuwa imefika. And I asked the doctor what was he suffering? Nikauliza daktari alikuwa na shida gani? Alikuwa na ugonjwa wa meningitis. COVID-19. Ana COVID-19. Ana ugonjwa wa pressure. Diabetes. Ana kisukari. All those sickness were inside. Hayo magonjwa yote yako ndani yake. It reaches a point. Inavika wakati. Even pray for yourself. Hata wewe mwenyewe kujiombea hawezi. Don't wait for that. Usingoje ifike hapo. This place is open 24/7. Mahali hapa pako wazi kila siku. Come and Kuja uombe angalau ni saa moja masaa mawili masaa matatu Hapo tumenyamaza Lakini nikasema kuja kila siku Tutakula pilao na kuku Utakuta hata wapita njia wait until usingoje hadi they are giving you oxygen which you can get free unaongezewa pumzi ambao unaweza pumua bure never love to be such a place usitake kuwa mahali kama hapo jesus said wait for me yesu anawaambia ketini muningoje reaches a point you are alone in isolation inafika mahali umetengwa peke yako it is you to go to the cross alone na ni wewe ujipeleke msalabani peke yako so you have pray for strength kwa hivyo unaomba utiwe nguvu because i will go through shame maana nitapitia aibu shame aibu people that i came to die for watu niliokuja nife kwa ajili yao they will crucify me watanisulubisha i need strength nahitaji nguvu despise the shame na kudharau aibu and look at the price na kuangalia zawadi because prayer will sustain me. Maana maombi yatanihifadhi. Jesus went and prayed. Yesu akaenda Look at that. Look at that. Hebu angalia. And he went a little bit further. Akaendelea mbele kidogo. And he fell on his face. Akaanguka kivulivuli. Fell on his face. Akaanguka kivulivuli. And prayed. Akaomba. If there is a man to pray. Kama kuna 
There is a God to answer. May God hearken to your prayers that in tough times you will stand in the name of Jesus. You will stand in the name of Jesus. He fell on his face. He knew tough times are coming. Tough times are coming. I'll be crucified alone. So I need to pray alone. He prayed saying, Oh my father. Oh my father. Not our father. My father. This pain is mine. If it is possible. If it is possible. Let this cup of shame. The cup of embarrassment let it pass let me not see that COVID-19 bed let me not enter that world because I know what goes on inside there he cried to his father nevertheless not as I will but as you will it reaches a point your husband is not there your pastor is not there it reaches a point you have left three million people and you're going to Mount Pisgah you don't know whether I'll come back that is Moses he had been meeting God in the mountain. But this time on Mount Pisgah, he told you are not going back. Hey, you are not going back. The land you see, I'm giving to the children of Israel. But I brought here to show you. But I'm sorry, Moses. You're not entering. Very strange. A man of God. He has walked with God. And God testifies. He was the meekest man on earth. Harmless man. Lakini. How taingia kule the people you have prayed for wale watu umeishi kuombea you will leave them now utawaacha sasa we are not told the conversation hatujaambiwa mazungumzo yao we only see god coming tunaona tu mungu akija telling joshua anamwambia yoshua mtumishi wangu musa amekufa i was killed him nini ilimuua he was here today alikuwa hapa leo I don't answer questions. I answer prayers. If you had prayed, Moses would have come back. Musa angalirudi. But none of you pray. Hakuna hata moja wenu alimuombea. So Joshua, kwa hivyo Yoshua, arise. Inuka. Take these children of Israel. Wapeleke hawa wana wa Israeli. Cross Jordan. Wavuke Yorodani. Give them the land. Uagawie nchi. If Moses can pray, kama Musa angeomba, and God delivered Israel, hadi Mungu anakomboa Israeli. Three million people. Wa two million itatu. Why can three million people? Kwa nini hawa wa two million itatu hawangeombea Musa? And say, God, we are not going to the promised land. Na waseme Mungu hatuta ingia nchi ya hadi. We need Moses here. Tuna muhitaji Musa. God will have changed. Mungu angevadilisha nia. Ange murudisha Musa. Prayer Maombi. makes God change. Yanafanya Mungu abadilishe. Look at Nineveh. Angalia Ninawi. He said I'm finishing Nineveh. Alisema ninaangamiza kabisa Ninawi. But lakini Jonah go. Yona enda. I'm giving them 40 days. Ninawapa siku 40. But Sodom. Lakini Sodoma. I'm going to destroy me physically. Ni mimi mwenyewe naenda kuiangamiza. Look at that. 
There are times God gives warning. There are times he says, these people are too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. They are too much. I'll finish them. But for Nineveh, let me see. I send a prophet. Go tell them. 40 days. Nineveh would be normal. When he landed in Nineveh, read your Bible. The people fasted and prayed. The Bible says when God saw their works, he changed his mind. May God change his mind towards Kenya in the name of Jesus. May God change his mind towards Kenya.